radio scene. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here with me on RadioScene.com. This is Platinum Praise, and I'm your host, Norman Thomas. I'm glad you are here. You could not have chosen a better show. Today on, on, the, on the way here, I was thinking about this interview, and it really touched me because anytime a... Now, I love all people. Don't get me wrong. Y'all hear me good. But anytime one of our very own, and I'm talking about a black man, anytime a black man pushes, or a black woman pushes beyond the veil um, and the glass ceiling that's been set for us, and they forge ahead to do something great and to do something amazing for the community, um, it's, it's, it touches me. It really, really does. So I'm honored, absolutely honored to have on the show today, None other than the mogul himself, Mr. Robert Hassan James of Root Magazine. Yeah. What's up, Norman? What's going on, man? Oh, man. Come on. You got to give me a mogul status? Absolutely. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, man, listen. <laughs> if, if not yet, then you are well on your way. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm glad to be talking to you today. Absolutely. Now, listen, let's get right in, into this because I want to get in your business hard. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I have your I have your bio in front of me and, you know, it'll be very easy for me. And I read it and it's, it's very impressive. Um, and it would be nothing for me to read it to everybody and to share. Um, but I want to really talk to first Hassan, the man, and then Hassan, the businessman. And then Hassan, the encourager. Those are the three I want to talk to today. Okay. So now, wow. Hassan, the man, growing up in or being born in Bronx, New York. What what was that experience like? Just growing up in New York. Well, growing up in New York, I think it was a, a great experience um, because, that, you know, you being from Connecticut, which is you know close to New York, it's, it's the best place to grow up. I think. Uh, for a few reasons. First, um, you definitely learn street smarts at a very early age. Um, you know, me growing up in the, you know, in the 80s and the 90s, you know, it was a big crack epidemic and, you know, things were, were kind of crazy, but, you know, I still had, had love around me. I had a, a great family that raised me. Um, I was raised, you know, primarily by my mom and, of course, with help from my grandparents and things of that nature. But it was just a, a good time to grow up in. You know, that's when the whole hip hop scene was around. And, I, you know, I grew up in church. So, you know, the 80s and 90s, you know, it was all about, you know, John P. T., uh, Timothy Wright, Hezekiah Walker, um, just being, um, you know, influenced by those people, uh, even growing up. So, you know, once, you know, the, the mid 90s hit and I had a, a chance to actually. You know, seeing with, with Hezekiah Walker and Love Fellowship, that was kind of the turning point in my life, if you will. Yeah. You know, because I was, you know, straight out, you know, out of college and doing my thing. But you know, that that chance meeting with somebody who was singing with the choir was like, hey, you know, you need to join Love Fellowship. I'm like, what? You, you could just join Love Fellowship? <laughs> I'm singing both. <laughs> and you know, from that, it just, you know, that was the moment that changed my life. So I'm. Um, you know, I live in Pennsylvania now, but I'm, I'm a New Yorker at heart. I'm in New York at least two, two, three times a month, it seems like. Um, you know, back and forth doing certain things, living the family or, you know, working on magazine stuff. But, you know, I kind of the honor and a privilege uh, to be from New York City. Wow. All right. Now, grow, you're, you're, a little bit of your history with growing up, and you mentioned about um, being a part of Love Fellowship, which... It's amazing. I actually sung with them for like a second and a half. Get out of here. Literally a second and a half. Um, wow. <laughs> it, seemed like, it seemed like everybody on the East Coast came through Love Fellowship <laughs> one time or another. <laughs> it, it was a very, very short stint. 
but now with with what you just gave about your um with your uh with your background now let's talk about hassan james the businessman what what about your background was there anything in your background that told you you could not become what you have become um I, I would say definitely, I mean, because like I said, growing up in New York, although there were good, you know, good things going on, there were still things that you know a black man per se. Like growing up, I would never think I would be a business owner. That's that's just start there. Um, even you know, graduating high school and off to college, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. So of, of course, the odds are always against you because you know, you know, I have friends who were, I had some that were walking on a street and narrow, and then I had some that was. You know, selling drugs. I had, you know, I had a plethora of friends. So if you let that environment overtake you, then of course, you know, it it, it could have the odds are against you. But you know, I definitely had that support system. You know, my mom, my family are telling me, who was telling me that I can do, you know, whatever I set my heart out to doing. Um, but how I fell into the whole adver- the whole magazine thing is I worked for an advertising agency. And it was a black-owned advertising agency, so that kind of gave me the courage and the inspiration to it. Because I'm like, man, if this black man can do it, you know, he started the advertising agency in the, you know, in the 1960s, and you know, I was just being working there and kind of working my way up in the company. And I, I saw like, wow, man, if he could do this, I think I could do this too. And that kind of really, really shaped. Um, magazine, like I remember just, well, I, have, I worked in the mail room initially, you know, before I moved up in the production department, and I remember just, you know, reading different magazines, you know, while I'm in the mail room, um, and I was just like, wow, like, all of these magazines, but there's really nothing that speaks to me, you know, uh, you know, the Christian, edgy kind of person, and, you know, the magazine that immediately popped into my head, even, even with the name, I'm like, what name can I have for this? And, you know, root immediately came to my mind because I feel like, you know, God from music is the root of, of all music that is, you know, out here that's coming. Although, you know, Thomas Dorsey started, you know, gospel in the 1930s and 40s. Even prior to that, you know, coming up the slave ship, we always sung songs of inspiration. So I just feel like, you know, that's the root of everything. And, you know, that's how it came about. Wow. That's that's very in depth. Um, let me let me put you on pause just one quick second. Are we okay. are we having a technical thing here? All right. Now, do y'all see me? Cause I see you. <laughs> throw me throw me throw me something in my chat room so I can make sure you see me. You, I see you now. Good. I look great, Dona. Dona. Maxie, no, I don't because I don't have a fresh edge up. I actually look a best right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm holy, so my holiness <laughs> ah, is coming through. Holy. <laughs> All right, so you guys are here. I'm really sorry about that. Not sure what that was about, but you're with me now. And we are still talking to Mr. Hassan James. Throw his picture back up. He's looking a whole lot better than me right now, so throw that picture up. Yeah, well, thank God it's a picture and it's not written me live because I wouldn't be looking better than you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Now, the um, for those that are listening, and we're just gonna get right back into this. Now, now is when we act like nothing happened. So, uh, <laughs> for those that are listening right now that might aspire to, now I want to talk to Hassan, the encourager. Um, for those that are out there now that are listening that might want to start their own um business company, become a mogul, become a uh, entrepreneur, anything like that. Um, what are some of the things that, I mean, without telling us like all your struggles, but what were, what were some of the things that maybe you can, um, tell them to avoid maybe some things that you ran into that, you know, maybe if you encourage them, you know, they might not have to run into it. Just, just some words of encouragement. Well, first of all, I I would just say, um, don't, don't think about it. Just do it. That's number one. Just do it. Um, a lot of people say, you know, I want to do this, I want to do that at all, and I get the money and stuff like that. Like, the money and stuff, that, 
that that that's gonna come. But you know, we find money, we do what we want to do. Um, you know, so it's, it's as simple as you know, going out there, getting a you know, getting your name copyrighted or getting uh, a LLC license, which is, you know, a couple hundred dollars. You know, just take steps in, into doing it. You know, there's so many gifts and talents that people have that they just keep. They lie dormant inside of them because, you know, they're they talking about it, but they're not being about it. And I, I think that's what you do, you know. Even I, I'm, I love this uh, show. I don't know if you watch it called Shark Tank. I love that show. On Dude. ABC. I love that show. I, I love, love it. <laughs> yeah, man. And it's like people just come up with these ideas and, you know, some of them they don't work, but, you know, some of them do. And, you know, even if they don't work, I, I love people that, you know, are passionate about what they're doing and they take something, it could be a crazy idea, but, you know, initially Facebook was a crazy idea. Now it's, it's a way of life. You know what I mean? Somebody right. who's 90 to 30 years old is a multi-billionaire whole time over from an idea like that and you know there are, there are plenty of ideas that people have but you just have to go out and, and do it um, you know it's, of course there's a few things that happen to be along the way uh, you know on a business uh, that could have just had me not want to do this at all but I kept the move and I remember my first couple of months um, I the, I think the magazine that you posted with um, with Heather Kyle Walker with my bishop on the cover I remember um, setting up for that. For that, actually, you know, it was my first, my very first one. The 50 greatest gospel act of all time. It was premiering at the Stellar Awards. I was excited. It was my first print edition, mm -hmm. and I'm working on it day and night, day and night. And uh, my graphic uh, designer, her whole computer crashed. Whoa! And we lost everything. Wow! And, and I remember it was like. It was in January, so it was like a couple days, I want to say after Christmas. And when I tell you, I was just crazy because everything we had worked so hard on, it was it was gone. So I'm just like, okay, I got people, money, people advertising in this magazine, and we had nothing. So we had to start all over again, it, and it's impossible because it's like, you know, a lot of the stuff you have to have in advance. We had to actually go and create everything over there. Me and her, we cried together, oh, but man. we made it happen and we produced that magazine. So, That's crazy. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And I, I, I was just like, why would this happen to me? God, like, but, you know, God had to bring me to that point. Let me know, like, you know, whatever I, you, I put my hands to, you're going to do it. Don't worry about it. Like, I got you. And, and you got me. And, you know, that's how, you just have to have faith to believe it. And, you know, God gives us the tools. He gives us the wisdom. And to know how to do it, we just got to go out there and do it. You know, whatever it is, you just have to do it. Even you, man, you're doing your thing. You're singing, you're on the radio, you know, you're designing clothes. Like, you, have to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, the possibilities are, are endless. They really are. We just have to all our gifts. I mean, that's, that's what we have to do, you know. I'm trying, man. Yeah, man. I'm trying because you know what? It's, it's money in, in so many different avenues, and it's not just about money. But if you are able to do a particular thing, you need to find out how many different avenues your gift can work in successfully. Exactly. And, exactly. and exercise that gift because now we can get back to the money and make that money. Exactly. Hey, well, man. This gift will definitely make room for you. And, and that's the truth. You know, the money and stuff it'll come but if you're passionate about something and you love what you're doing and you're not really looking at the money aspect the money right. is going to automatically come right and and i mean i'm i'm just excited i'm excited about what's happening for you i'm excited for where you're headed um all the things that you that you successfully you know come through even the snags and the you know the crazy things that have happened to you listen you guys if you're just joining if you're just tuning in um, we are chatting live with Mr. Hassan James, Mr. Root Magazine himself. Um, and what I want you guys to do is I want you to follow close to this visionary. I really do. And you know, I'm real funny about who I promote and about who I uh, endorse. I'm real funny about that. But what I want you to do is get behind this man really for real, for real. Because what he's doing is helping to upbuild 
the kingdom. So I've tweeted his information, but I'm going to give you just a little bit more. His website is www root magazine online there's nothing fancy about that everything is spelt the way it's supposed to be spelt root right magazine online everything is right um dot com this man is on facebook just put in root magazine also on twitter he kept it simple again root magazine so follow him get a subscription Even on instagram you know what i'm saying hit him on instagram follow this man because this is he's really a visionary and he's doing some great things matter of fact if you have something that you believe is noteworthy um you might be able to even submit some things so get on that website follow him if you have a if you have something that you really feel like deserves to be on the 13th page then you, <laughs> y'all want to be on the front they want to be on the cover so bad but you everybody, got to work everybody everybody want to be on the cover you have no idea <laughs> you got to work your way up from the 13th phase sometime but follow this man www.rootmagazineonline.com follow him on twitter at root magazine and again on facebook Root Magazine. Man, I'm so pleased that you came through and chatted with us a little taste. I feel I feel like I learned a little bit of something. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me, brother. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, we're going to continue to push your information out there to let these people know that Root Magazine is doing big things. Yeah, man. We're doing it. We're doing it. If you have some music or whatever you want to send us, I'm doing a, uh, another mixtape, actually, uh, in, in the next month or so. If you got some music you want to send me submit for the mixtape, you can send that to the rootmag at yahoo.com. That's my email address. And, uh, you know, send All right. pockets. I'll definitely um I'll put that up there there too. The Root Mag, T H E R O O T M A G at Yahoo dot com. So you guys, let's give a warm um, automated round of applause. <laughs> for my you're a comedian. <laughs> for my oh, God. I'm so glad you came through and uh, we'll definitely be chatting again, sir. Yes, sir, man. We're hooking up on some stuff too, so I'm, I'm excited. Yes. Yes. Thanks for calling in. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. That was Mr. Hassan James. Now, uh, what what did he say? What did you say? Let me go back in my chat room. Hmm. Okay. That was Mr. Hassan James from Root Magazine. I'm going to be tweeting his information again um, so that you guys can follow him and learn, learn of what he's doing and support what he's doing. He's definitely doing some very, very positive things. Uh, Mr. E Photographer said we missed a lot. You might have, you might think you missed a lot, but Chris, I've got a whole lot more for you. Radiocene.com. Radiocene.com.